So Tim, today I want to talk about your family. Uh, how's my light? Your light is good. Uh, how about now? It's still good. How about now? It's it's okay now. Uh, wh which parts of my family do you want to talk about? Your family tree. Oh, um, like uh, no, uh, it grows straight. Like I have a good pitching arm. Well, we planted it in 1969. I was actually given the seed in utero. My mom was sitting on the ground, and that's only when you're living in a cabbage patch, much like I was at the time, and it was soft soil. How many weeks did the surgery take? Who said that? Let's, let me ask you another question. Um, but this time, I'm only gonna say half the words, and you have to finish the question. What was it like when you first spelled the word conglomerate. I remember it well. I was falling from a tall building and the firefighters caught me and I said, gentlemen, C-O-N-G-L-O, -O. and then I passed out. At the time, I was really into speed and I was also into the drug speed. And I think that when you're into speed and speed, and I'm, my gun was also getting me into you don't have time to spell out entire words before you pass out. Uh, unless you have, of course, wicker. Let's talk about... Well, your beard. Your beard. I think your beard. I can only your talk beard. about your beard. 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 topic your beard. in a way your beard. that... Your beard. Your beard. You know, I had more to do with this stalker your beard. Your beard. who was your beard. following your beard. me at your the time. Your beard. Your beard. And, your beard. you know, your beard. I had to get an injunction your beard. Your beard. from the judge. Your beard. Your beard. And your beard. I had to your beard. Your beard. lock my doors your beard. at night. Your beard. Your beard. I had to... Your beard. Your beard. Your beard. Your beard. Your beard. Your beard. Stalk him back. Your beard. And then once I started stalking him, your beard. He finally left me alone. Your beard. Your beard. And he painted on my walls. Your beard. And your beard. We rub beards. Your beard. Your beard. It's a pretty fascinating story. I just gotta say, this is N R B Q C P N T P U B. Tim, it's been great having you on, and we look forward to meeting you again. I look forward to your beard, your beard, your beard, your beard. Also. What do I not want to talk about? Um, how about you ask me a question because you're the questionnaire. State your name and your role in the men's scrapbooking club. My name's Chelsea, aka Chechaledge, and my role is cussing girl. Also, I bring out ideas. I had these ideas, and they never get any credit because they get acted out by men. I was thinking about a woman's dick, honestly. I was thinking about getting a woman's dick. That's the only part that I'm missing. Well, I guess balls too. Dick and balls. Um, I could probably do that, and then I could join the club. Pretty much a shoe-in, because I, I, I bone Tim Rogers, so... Okay. Alright, all right, so what's the hubbub all about? So they were talking to me, and I was like, "I'm just a, I'm just a peg, in orifice of a cog that cranks." It's spiritualist automated teller machine rotor. Indoors. Do you feel compelled to give a testimony about it? I mean, it's it's kind of hard. I mean, at least for me, I'm not I'm not a professional street drawer. Wait, no, you're thinking of the Dillons. Yeah. <laughs>